For this episode, we're going to be checking out what's inside this box. Disclaimer for this video, this would be a replica Rolex. Not in any form is it glorifying or is it pushing you to buy any replica or fake products. But this video would be something to teach buyers that these are the things you should look out for so that you would not be scammed into buying a fake Rolex. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Check out what's inside the box. Of course, that fog green leather. screw down crown with two pulls first pull to adjust the date second pull is to adjust the time that moves this orange hand crown unscrewed first pull you adjust the It is using a Japanese movement as what the sellers are saying. There are two types of this watch. This lower end and a higher end R7 that they are calling. The R7 would have a Swiss movement, an automatic Swiss movement and I think uh, the proper GMT for the hand, for the orange hand and it would have a black Merc hands for the hour and minute this will have a silver hour and minute Merc hands as you can see it's got by hacking as it stops next pull would be for the time it's not coarse it is soft and the movement when you do the time as you would expect from a Japanese movement but the thing is you cannot control the orange hand it would always move as you move the hour and the minute hand Set it to the time now. And I just don't know what function that serves. It's 616. And that orange hand, since it's not independent, I cannot pull it. You cannot pull it to the third. It just stays that way so push it screw it oh by the way it has got a hand winding feature now it's screwed crown guards are just in the right place and the crown itself is stamped with that Rolex crown the sides are polished But there's brushing in the front. This area here I'm very particular with where the end links meets with the case is nicely done. And it's got a brushed finish on the top. The non-rotatable bezel has a 
brushed finish on the front and the font they're using is a bold font and the edges are polished the stainless steel oyster bracelet is solid and it has got screw links for adjustment the trifold clasp is done as such hollow end links there and the back has got that sterile Rolex back positive clip and a positive lock now what are the things that you need to look out for first off it would be very hard for you to check this if you don't have a comparing watch to compare it to the only thing that you would be red flagged about this one is the price seller selling this they are pricing it properly but only bogus sellers would be selling this to you as a price of an original Rolex and that would be the baddest thing because without another watch same exact watch to compare this from about six feet three feet from the wrist it would be very hard to tell if this Rolex is authentic or fake so just a heads up in case someone is in the market for a Rolex Polar Dial Explorer 2 do watch out for these guys because these guys are quite difficult to spot just in case you would want to be buying one the best one would be to buy from a reputable seller and of course a seller that you can return it to and not something that just vanishes into the online web a physical shop would be nice to have so that you can go back and tell them this dispute that this is not a real one because for what it is it is a watch that is fairly nicely made Japanese movement is assembled to be a watch that is not as high grade as to what you should be paying for an authentic Rolex this has been Alan and thank you for watching Django Moto 1911 I'll see you guys in the next video